I've seen people eat glass for free bottle service. Yeah, eat glass for free bottle service. Um, I've seen plenty of fights. I've seen lots of nakedness. <laughs> um, you know, you basically see it all. It's wild. Nightlife is wild, especially in Atlantic City. You know, as much happens that you can't say as what you can see. I mean, you know, there's a reason why there aren't cameras in bathrooms and nightclubs. There's a reason why uh, there are stall doors in nightclubs. There's a reason why there are VIP bathrooms in nightclubs because people, you know, get very sexually worked up in nightclubs. And My I biggest clubbing pet peeve in our bar is very different from most people's bars. It's 12 really drunk girls in orange wigs, uh, you know, jumping all over the strippers. I think rude behaviors, you know, it's all handled on a per case basis. Um, you know, depending, you know, if somebody is going to spit in somebody else's faces, we'll handle that differently versus if somebody's going to yell at somebody. So usually we just have them escorted out. A couple years ago, a certain Stanley Cup championship team came in here to celebrate their win, and they actually brought the Stanley Cup with them. They invited people up to their table to, bring, to drink champagne out of the actual Stanley Cup, something that probably none of us would ever get the chance to do. There is a certain etiquette at the door. Uh, I have difficulty getting a group of guys in the door if they've just come in a large group of guys. You know, we would rather guys show up with girls, pretty even amount of number. We do have, you know, dress codes. We're a little more relaxed than some venues, but, you know, we just say dress to impress. And I don't think you're impressing people if you're coming in shorts, flip-flops, and a tank top. So when so, you're trying to get a drink at a very busy bar, stay put, know what you want to drink, and have your money ready. Uh, the most frustrating thing is if you're moving around the bar trying to catch the bartender, um, you know, they circle. So they go from the left side of the bar all the way down. Then they go back. So if you're moving around, you're just going to wait even longer. Don't throw your money in their face. Don't shout at them. Don't go, hey, 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 because that just annoys them. Um, and if you want even better service on your second drink, I would suggest giving them a really big tip because they will remember that and they will get back to you faster. That's the way the world works. If you want to do bottle service, it's best to call ahead. If you show up at the door and expect to get a table, sometimes you might have to wait. If you know what you guys are celebrating and how many people are in your group and what your mix is from guys to girls, definitely give that information ahead of time and you're guaranteed to get a better table. Yeah, well, we're not running a church. You're allowed to get crazy, you know, have fun. We want you to have fun. We want you to have as much fun as possible, but we also want you to be able to respect our establishment and our business. Like I said, the most important thing to remember about club etiquette is be willing to bend. Because at the end of the day, if your guests are feeling uptight, if it's, if it's that kind of environment, you're not going to throw a good party.